Hello and welcome to Me in Ukraine's podcast. My name is Klaas Spot, and with these podcasts we'll bring you news and updates from Ukraine. In today's headlines bulletin, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg had a conversation with Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte about support for Ukraine. Mark Rutte wrote on Twitter, I talked to Jens Stoltenberg about the situation in Ukraine and in particular about the need for continued military supplies in the fight against Moscovian aggression. Ukraine can continue to count on the Netherlands. Sergei Pritula had raised 20 million dollars in a crowdfunding campaign on Ukrainian television in order to buy three Bayraktars. The company Baikar refused the money and donated three of their famous drones. Now with the 20 million, Pritula has bought an ICI satellite. This satellite can conduct surveys at any time of day and in any weather conditions. A total of 17 civilians have been killed during night and morning missile attacks by Moscovia on the city of Kharkiv. Two more civilians were killed in a missile strike on the city of Krasnohrad. Moscovia is massing large numbers of missiles and ammunition near the border with Ukraine. Trainloads of S-300 missiles are to arrive around the 20th of August. The 24th of August, Ukraine celebrates Independence Day. Moscow will launch a large missile attack on Ukraine, also from the territory of Belarus. Moscovia refuses to create a demilitarized zone around Zaporizhia. Moscow's Ministry of War spreads the propaganda, claiming that Ukraine is preparing a strike on the nuclear plant, while Moscovian troops are already preparing a provocation for tomorrow at the nuclear site. It's obvious that Moscovians have no regard for life even when it concerns their own. To justify their actions, their excuses are mind-bogglingly ludicrous. For example, the Moscovian general Vladimir Shamanov said that radiation poisoning in Chernobyl is a lie because the same positions were held in the Second World War and no one got sick. Thank you for watching, until next time. Slava Ukraini.